Hello and welcome. Today is the uh, 30th of August, 2017. Welcome. My name is Derek and let's uh, do a relatively quick video on Bitcoin and just on Bitcoin. As this weekly time frame is really painting a very, very interesting picture. Just a basic strategy is... Look, and you look back at charts and you see something rise higher, which is just defined as above this 18 average. Come back to it uh, at least close to or at or even below the low. And then as it escapes it without breaking an uptrend, that when it breaks above it significantly, how likely is it going to follow with significant gains? Let's look at previous times in which it did. Significantly breaking it in here. Significantly breaking it here and here. Significantly breaking it here. Significantly breaking it in here. And this doesn't count because this isn't rising. And if you look at many other ones, you will notice that oftentimes it does lead to further, another leg higher, basically. And in the situation within how the market's been playing out, the highs and lows are very noticeable. The lows are where the 18 average has pretty much been, the 18 average of lows. So here's a situation where it's close enough. And then each break higher from it, well, this goes from well, back in April of last year, talking somewhere below 400, and it breaks out to 800. And then in here, south of 500, and it breaks out north, north of 1,000. Pulls back to, looks like north of 700, up to north of 12, back down to 700 up to 3,000, down to 1,800. So now north of 3,000, this is where I get the four to 5,000 area in which I think uh, would be a key level. Then you got Fibonacci uh, upside. You're looking for a serious price correction, which was the case in here. And that uh, target level is around 4,200. And then the move on short term from this, high to this low of this correction which is basically more of a shorter term intermediate term one it's got the exact same upside target of around 42 as well so i would expect to move on the break when it happens to go to that point and when you break key resistance you notice major green candles up you break resistance in here major moves up you break resistance major moves up you break resistance i mean it's their fast moves at least they've historically been so so you'd have to think again that when price action is into the three thousands there may be nothing that's going to stop the trends or it's going to take a long decent size gain before you're going to have any noticeable price corrections downwards let's take a look at this on the daily term time frame now and it's got the interesting situation starting from this area here where you come down close to the 18 average of lows and here's where it's breaking above it so i mentioned on the weekly chart when you have a correction at least close enough to the 18 average of lows and there's the situation of at least and then you have a noticeable break above that you have a good chance of having a noticeable leg higher to follow through. It doesn't mean it's always just going to do this and just go straight up. I mean, and at times it will, but you're going to have situations where it's going to have to do its upward thing, where it's going to have more shorter term corrections. And that's what's going on right now within this market. It's having short term choppy price corrections of recent time frame. It has not been able to escape the 2700 variable, but it hasn't escaped how this trend is coming through. It's still playing out where it's making higher lows. It's still playing through 
where the levels a little south of 2900 is a major resistance field it has yet to a breach and on the situation like i've been stated just earlier on the breach of it you can expect big gains that's why there's some people that would like the strategy uh, that's why I want to look at 3100 3200 for price action because I'm just going to buy it up then buy it up at 3120 because I realize that if it's going to go to 4000 it's got to go to 3120 first but if this thing is ultimately not going to go to that point and we're going to have a further correction down then there's a decent chance that this thing is not going to make it there so I'm not going to buy and then watch it go down so that's the reason why some people would want to wait for the break the cost of course is you have to spend more is you're spending like say maybe 3200 when the price action right now is in at 2800 and now on to the four hour time frame or the half one third day or one sixth is this uh, sideways consolidation there's the 27 to 28 range there's been a few pierces below it but nothing that is held in fact this one had more time below 27 this one had three quick pierces below and this one really never did as far as 28 is concerned it had a small pierce here, very small, a decent move, looking like a failed uh, breakout. Oftentimes from failed moves can come fast moves in the opposite direction. That's not the case. They also can clarify sideways neutrality, which basically is what's well, the only really other thing that it can be. And that's what uh, has been going on. But now it's in a situation where you have this cat tailish kind of candle, miniature green candle up. I went to bed candle, which is the one that you can barely see that follows after okay green, very good green, decent green, and it's still hanging in there as it's breaking above some of this more shorter term resistance level. It's breaking out from what has been a very neutral market. So this remains neutral even on the breakout. As short term, it's got to get above about 29 and low change to end its neutrality. Let's shorten it out a little bit more because we're seeing a lot of consecutive up moves in here. And what we're looking here is at the 30 minute time frame. So you've had this situation from the last time it went to 29. Uh, really the fork issue so since the fork issue has came into play the market didn't tank which is kind of short term what i was expecting i was thinking that bitcoin would probably fall at least to the low 2000s around 22 ish or so didn't happen otherwise or what it did do is find this massive support in around 2660 it find this found this resistance in at around 2750 and even 2760 whatever but as we look at this 18 average it breaks out in here some decent short-term resistance and then this was where it broke out from a rising one so after this move here corrected sideways then that's what was giving the spark on this time frame that this thing is ready to go bullish and since then one leg higher back to the band two legs higher back to the band three legs higher back to the band will there be a fourth one well of course you'd be waiting for a break above here the market on this is uh, bullish but it's still got a decent ways to go of course to get to this point because as long as it stays in this 2900 level as resistance and doesn't break down much below these uh, key levels it's very much sideways with what is one heck of a bull ride bull market and oftentimes those neutral indecisive patterns will result themselves into what the uh, path of least resistance in the current trend is and in this case that is higher thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day bye bye